It's not the easiest thing in the world, but sometimes we gotta do it. Grande cloud ice caramel. I don't always do it, but when it's necessary, getting Starbucks in the Lambo with no cup holders. It's so hard to drive. So I have to hold with one hand because we have no cup holders and I can't vlog because I need the other hand on the wheel. It's tough, but we're gonna make it work today. One day on the track and it's black, very dirty. So we're driving again in a few days and I know all the videos as of recently have literally been just 370Z videos. But that's because I'm just having so much fun with this car. I always am seeing comments about the C8 and all that stuff. We're gonna be going to Sheepy Race actually tomorrow, which for you guys will be a few days in the future, but the C8's coming back very soon. But we're doing some routine maintenance on the Z, just swapping out the oil before we go to our next track day. It's a uh, key because we are literally getting this oil temp to like 262, 80 every track day to flush out the oil and one of the things that one of you guys commented and I did a lot of like reading and stuff about it online and I actually just ordered one is Cal I bet you you didn't even know what this was either I got an oil pan spacer well I actually got the Gretty ones rather than having an oil pan spacer it's just an enlarged oil pan that allows us to add an extra quart of oil and what will adding an extra quart of oil to our oil capacity what will that do Cal gets us better cooling yeah yeah, so I'm really excited about that shot to you guys in the comment section below because you guys are the ones that recommended that to us Pretty much what it is is we have an oil pan that is larger than this one and it actually just bevels out and it's baffled So it allows us to add more oil to our car Which more oil means we'll have better cooling because there's more fluid within the car So hopefully that will help solve our oil issues our rear quarter panel from crown carbon crafting the zero mil over fenders Which means it is not a wide body. We're gonna attach it like a wide body, but it isn't any wider than it is stock. The reason why we have this, and if you can't tell, it has a fresh coat of paint on there, is because you guys really seem to hate the fact that I left that disgusting. So we're gonna be cutting that out today, replacing that, and their door and a side skirt is still gonna be beat up, but at least we're making steps in the right direction, making it look a little bit nicer. This next oil change, we're gonna be using 20W50 VR1. Nothing but the best, always the best. It's gotta be the best, VR1. We've pretty much found our sweet spot with the oil cooler in the car. We get about six quarts of oil gets us a little bit over full. This is interesting because normally we cut everything out, but we're actually gonna be leaving just a little bit of body so we can have something to attach the stock replacement to. Call it cringe city, we're just drawing on the car with the Sharpie because we're cutting it off all anyway. We need a flange for where edges of this quarter panel will go. That's why we're leaving a two inch thing. Up here, it doesn't matter. Right here is gonna be the crucial part because what TJ has to do is leave enough for us to bolt it on and then- But it won't bolt right here because it's already crushed in so we can only bolt in here and then we'll have to bolt in like there or something. But if you cut enough out here, it'll expose this and we can kind of pull it out. We can fix it. Yeah, okay. Like you wanted to. Yikes. All right, well, I'll start cutting it up. A little trick tip that I like to do that not everyone likes to do with cars that I know aren't going to be show cars or just track cars, meaning like there's just a little less precision that has to be done. I actually kind of like to freehand draw, which what, what I mean by that is I'll go in with the cutoff wheel and do a light cut. So I'm not penetrating anything. I'm just pretty much like scoring the surface and I create an outline with how much I'm cutting. And then I'll go back in a second time because I've already nicked away half the material that cuts through like butter. It's important when using the cutoff wheel because everyone has a different tool to use this. There's not, it's not just this tool. You can use, you can use a plenty of tools but it's important to make sure that you're letting the, the tool do the work and you not overworking that's one mistake I used to make because I used to like really try to force it through the first time it's like no cut through it a few times let the tool do the work for you For the most part, this piece is cut out. It's just glued on the underside of the fender well right here. So if you look from this angle, see how it's all kind of glued in there? So there's two layers. What we're gonna do is we'll just get the cutoff wheel. We'll shimmy that off and this whole piece should come out in one piece and then we'll do some trimming work and we should be good to mount. So here you can really get a good idea 
of where this car crinkled the most. So the part that we just cut out was the outer shell of the body, but there is structure on the inside. So on the inside is what got crushed, which is why when I tried to hammer it out a few videos ago, I couldn't because I simply couldn't get a hammer behind this and push this out. At this point, we'll be able to cut all of it out and it won't really matter. We have to eliminate this section now. So we'll be chopping out this. And then once that's gone, we can pretty much clean this all up because now this fender should sit a lot closer. So if I didn't do a good job at explaining it last time, this should help you understand. Cause we're just gonna be attaching this fender from the outside areas, which is why we just left a perimeter on the outside. I lie, I'm actually just going at this with a hammer. Peeled all the glue off. There we go. Now we're pretty much ready to mount on this over fender and see how it looks. We don't have a third person, so I didn't film us putting this in, but we have our first Clico. We're treating this just like any other wide body. We're gonna drill out our original holes first, Clico, then go back in with hardware. First one's done. It's like nothing ever happened, bud. Kind of. See, right now on camera, it looks like it, they're really not painted the same white, but keep in mind, this is still dirty from the last track day. So that's how dirty that is. And this and this were painted a month apart from the same place. So it is paint match. It does, on camera, it looks really weird, but. It looks good to me. It looks good in, in person. person it looks good. Still a little bit rough. We're gonna go ahead and continue and show you guys the finished product. Final product, all I the Clicos like are in. It's actually a pretty good solution for those who are like drifting their car and like ruin them often. Cause like I said, for some reason I just didn't want to wide body this car. Now keep in mind, there is still a little bit of a lip here. Like technically it's not a full body replacement. It's just an over fender but if I was walking, stock body. But if you're like a 10 foot distance. I mean, like, yeah, if I was walking by, I'd be like, hey, nothing ever happened besides the big boy. Yeah, like there. you'll have a little bit of a lip right there as opposed to stock body, there's nothing there. But when you're a little bit farther back, yeah, it's like nothing ever happened. Except the doors and the side skirt is still screwed, but hey. And there's no window. And there's no window. But we're ready for a full send again. So normally we would use beauty hardware, but because I anticipate exploding these over and over again, we're probably just gonna use, I think a self tap just to hold it in for now. I'm not the biggest fan of self taps, but when it explodes again and again, I think we'll thank ourselves in the long run when we just use a self tap. I'm not proud of the self taps, but I just don't know of a better option. She's ready to rip, dog. Side the thing is, is it needs a side skirt now, but I'm scared that when we get a new side skirt, this like attach point that it once was supposed oh. to go to is gonna be impossible. So we're gonna so have to start like drift stitching it. it. It might, but I mean, at the end of the day, this is what I wanted. Oh, wait, do you know that Bobby Romo was at the track with me? To the Booter Boys. Only a stream that follows me at twitch.tv forward slash Kree Calvin will know that meme. Also, TJ streams now too. No, I'm streaming because I'm, I'm bored. This quarantine sucks. It needs a wash. I'm not gonna do it now. It's Calvin's old brother's birthday today, so we got some other priorities that we need to attend to. But I wanted to come in earlier this morning and knock all this stuff out. All that cutoff wheel stuff. Put sparks and put some holes in my Lululemon shorts. These were super expensive and I just put holes in them. <laughs> I'm gonna interrupt today's video to say thank you to our sponsor, Omaze. They're an online fundraising platform that gives you the chance to win something amazing while at the same time help donate to a charity. So with that being said, Omaze is gonna be giving away a 2020 C8 Corvette with the Z51 performance package and $20,000 cash. The Z51 package is the highest performance package that also comes with the upgraded brakes and it's also the highest trim level inside the car. It is also the same exact Z51 and exterior that I have and the same exact interior that I have. So if you've seen it on my channel and you like it, that's exactly what you would win with their car. Plus, you're gonna get $20,000 cash with that, which means with that extra $20,000 cash, you'd be able to get the Street Hunter kit for your car and even bag it or get a set of wheels. Omaze has partnered with UCLA Ronald Reagan Medical Center, which means funds are gonna go towards them to help expand their ambulance services as well as their mobile cardiac arrest and respiratory life-saving services, which is extremely important and current during the times of the coronavirus. So to enter your chance to win the Z51 C8 Corvette as well as $20,000 cash, head over to amaze.com forward slash TJ Hunt and support the UCLA Ronald Reagan Medical Service Center. Thank you so much to Amaze for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. As I've been telling you guys in the last couple vlogs, I've been doing a lot more streaming on Twitch. Now I just did like a two and a half hour stream of just like looking at sim products and certain things that I wanna try and order and whatnot. And we'll go over it a little bit later tonight. We're gonna to come back to this. But tonight I'm going to place my order on a motion simulator for our racing sim setup. It's a six access, full movable thing that I'm pretty sure we'll be able to fit in this room. If not in here, I might be able to fit it downstairs, I, I think. I'm not quite sure yet, but I was hanging out with the Twitch 
Twitch fam for hours and we went over a whole bunch of different fan attack things and so much stuff. I'll dive into it a little bit later. It's been our next birthday. We're about to go over to Calvin's house and hang out um, and do like a family dinner type thing. But oh my gosh, we are about to pull the trigger on a all in all, we're gonna be in like $12,000 for this racing sim, but it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be so cool. So this room down here, we originally intended it to be like an alternative hangout location when we have people over, but the upstairs is just so much more bigger and it's pretty much has enough space that we never really use this. So we've been talking about for a while, like redesigning this room. And I feel like we might have to, cause I don't know if the sim will fit up in my office already. Cause we could definitely move some things around here, get rid of this table, put the sim down here and it might be a total man cave. I'm not quite sure yet, but this is an alternative location to putting the sim. And also I don't know how loud that motion sim will be. And Sabrina and I's bedroom is only like 20 feet down the hall. So if it makes, if it's like 2 AM and I'm like screaming and making a bunch of noise on that sim, it may be kind of loud. So it might actually be better to put it on here. I'm not quite sure yet, but dude, I am like ecstatic. I thought motion sims, well, I mean, it's still very expensive, but I thought they were like 20, 30 grand, but. Shout out to Taylor Wright because he has one uh, that's a three-way access and he was like, dude, it's super good. I texted him about it, he gave his feedback and some little insider tips that I was asking him and I'm hyped. I I'm like super, super hyped. Strand, what do you think about putting the sim downstairs? No. I think it's what's gonna have to happen. <sighs> only, we can only put it downstairs if. Okay, but I'm not buying the Peloton. What? I'm not buying the Peloton. I'm just a Peloton. You literally told me off camera you would. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you I did. I said you could put a Peloton down there. You said if you let me buy a reason no. to buy you a, a lot. You can, okay, I'm not asking for permission. I just want your graces. What's his first question when he started the video not? Can we put the racing sim down? No, I'm not saying can I buy a racing sim. I'm buying the racing sim. It, it's nice to know you're on my side. But like, I, I want to make the that wall a mirror. You know where the TV is? What do you, heck? Yeah, we'll turn it into like a cool... Into a mirror? What? That's like a... For what? That's like a kinky like... Wait, wait, okay, now yeah. Like, whoa! No, she no, wants no, to no. make it a full mirror? What do you mean? Why is that weird? Why would you make a whole wall a mirror? I... That's so expensive. It is expensive. To do that? Are you kidding? Alright, I'll just fade out. No! Oh, Happy birthday to you! Welcome to Dutt's Kitchen. I am just frying up some chicky tenders here. Ooh. 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 Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Did you make a wish? That was Happy a fast blowout. Oh, I had the oh, wish planned. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ever since COVID happened, the pools around our neighborhood have been closed. Brynn and I are Ladies riding our first. bikes. Whoa, I can't stop. I only have one hand on the bike. Riding our bike. Okay, Sprint has a scooter because she doesn't have a bike. So she's a little weenie. I'm on the big boy bike and we're biking to the most nearest pool to see if they're open because they've been closed for weeks now. The odds are that it is closed. Whoa. It probably most definitely is closed, but we have nothing else to do on a Saturday night. So we're taking a little trip down to the pool to see if we can get in. Is this so? I'm going in the hot tub. A little tandem right here. Look at this little tandem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yankee, no brim. Brim, no Yankee. Pool is still closed. Stupid. We can't even, we couldn't even hop over the fence if we wanted to. Well, they're cold. If the pool doesn't open, then the hot tub wouldn't be on and it would be freezing and it wouldn't even be worth it. Oh, it's definitely still on. Let's go check. Let's just make sure what? It's I'm already higher than you. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. I'm already max capacity. Stop. Ready to go whoop. Oh, babe. No. Do you feel that? Don't. I'll do a big one. No, don't. Babe. Oh. Stop. Or a little of this, ready? Stop, you're going to break. No, I don't. Yo. You never did that? Can you just swing peacefully? Yep. Oh! There is no sunset. Are you kidding? Sunset is blocked. No, look at it. Dude, sick sweatshirt. Hey, look at yours. Matching. I totally forgot to pick up the camera. 
I totally spaced. I've been streaming for three hours now. The pools were closed, we couldn't do anything, so resorted to playing video games. I ended up streaming um, for a few hours, and I've been, again, if you haven't been on stream in a while, we've been streaming a lot on Twitch, so if you're a fan on that Twitch game, get on that Twitch game. Look, the chat always gets a little hello. I've been doing like just chatting for like an hour now, and everyone's loving it, but um, it now just hit 1 a.m. We need to get to bed. Look at this sim we're about to do. Placing the orders for the sim, we're gonna do a, uh, once we get all the stuff we're gonna do a full like install build on everything but the system the, the motion simulator is like a month out and all of fanatech stuff is some of its back order for three months so unfortunately we're probably not gonna be able to build our like sim setup for months because we have to wait for all to get in but it is coming and that's what's important that being said i'll catch you guys in the morning where are you going? What's daddy doing today? He's going to get a tattoo of your face on his butt cheek. TJ is adding to his ever growing collection of da -da 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 tattoos. Let me see what you got so far. He's scared. He's nervous because I'm not going with him, but it is okay because we all have to grow. And TJ's gonna grow today, <laughs> going to get tattoos by himself. What are you getting? Tell him what you're getting besides Oni's face on your butt cheek. All right, I'm thinking about a slight baby neck tat, but I guess we'll see when I get back. Yeah, right. Just really small, like right behind my ear. Maybe. It's my baby. I'll let you know when I get back. Okay, bye. We're gonna be doing some more artwork today, boys. We have a few designs that I gave to my artist uh, a few days ago, and they are ready. So we're driving down to get some stuff done. I think we're gonna get some, some more stuff done on this arm, and then I might get more stuff done on this arm. Kind of just depends on how much time we actually get done today. I'm always a little nervous before I get it, because I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be there forever. But then once I get it, I'm like, eh. I don't care. Does anyone else feel that way when they get tattoos, or is it just me? All right, we're starting off with the Space Cadet tattoo. I'm here with Jack. I'll put all of his Instagram Hello. stuff down here below. Jack just printed out a stencil. Skull dude. There we go. So it's like a, it's actually a famous photo from the International Space Station of a spaceman, and I was like, I want to add that in, but you can kind of see, like through the visor of the helmet, there's like a skull hanging out. I like that a lot. And then, yeah, very edgy. Very and then Jack edgy. added in the little stars in there too, so. <laughs> That is gonna go um, above the rose, and then we're gonna move on from there. Here we go. No going back now. It's been a year since I felt the needle on my arm. I'm not. I'm not a pussy. But it doesn't feel good, Jack. So I want to be really gentle. All right, thanks. Are we doing a lot of shading on this or no? Do you want to shading on it? I don't know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll take your judgment, but I'll shading is what hurts. I'll put a bit on it, you know what I mean? Okay. I, and I don't shade it with like a, like a big like a mag or anything like that. I use. Like a three. Mm, like really a three. three. So it's, okay. I don't know what that means, it'll but it's super fun. It's, it's going right. to be okay. lovely. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll check in with you guys uh, once we're like halfway through it. Ooh. Our spaceman is done. Now we're moving on to this little cloud right here on my arm. And then after that one, we have a third one. But I don't know. If, I don't know if we're gonna get to the third one today. But we're making progress. The arm sleeve is slowly coming to pieces. That was three and a half hours of constant annoyance, pain. I'll show you when we get home. I'm super hyped, super excited. I need a nap. I kept hearing as people were coming in and out of the tattoo shop, everyone was talking about this car. Oh my God, okay. Well, Uber almost killed me, boys. Car is still in one piece. Glad no damages. I always get sketched out leaving the car in the middle of like random side streets that I don't know anyone or anything around here. Not that if anyone did anything, insurance wouldn't cover it because obviously it would, but I don't know. Leaving a car that's expensive, unattended, in places you don't know is a little sketchy. Damn, I'm getting inked up! Shout out to Jack if anyone is in Southern California and wants to hit him up. I'll put his Instagram on the screen. I'm sure I already did, but hit him up. He's super cool. His line detail work is literally phenomenal. I have to do it. I have to do it. I hope there are no cops because I have to do it. When people say, oh, the Supra is literally just a Z4 BMW, this is the model Z4, the M40 Z4, that literally is nearly the same thing as the Mark V Supra. Super, super identical cars. I did. You're vlogging? 
Do you want to see the neck tap yes, first? Here. It's on the back of my neck. Okay! Pretty small. <gasps> oh my god, I see the one on your arm. Do you want to see the neck tat first? There's no neck tat. I was joking. I know you didn't get a neck tat. I was Let's joking. <gasps> Did you shave your arm off? Did you get it on the same arm? I told you not to get it on two different arms. Let me see. I can't. That's where I'm getting my I, li I literally can't see. I got. <gasps> oh my god. Look at the space, man. Careful, Wait, mom. No. What the? This one looks so. The skull hand. Well, it, depending on how my arm is <gasps> contorted, it's like contorted because it's in a. Oh my god, and it's a skeleton! Yeah, it's a dead space <gasps> spaceman. Astronaut that got left in space. Wait, how much Wait, is he? That, those all are of that really shit goes. That whole thing goes for him a monopoly. Take He's it. not giving you a monopoly. Take it. Don't purple do it. Purple and 350. Don't do it. A purple and three. Done. He's suckering you in. Done. Yeah, you just Man, gave you him a monopoly. monopoly. Woo! You are gonna when you land on it. The Lehman family out here taking some major L's. This is where he goes. Now I roll. Six. <laughs> That's what I wanted yeah. to do. Was say five hundred bucks. That's what I was saying. We never played it. like that. We always played where you have to have four houses. You're wrong. And you have to you you have to buy your four no. houses. One hundred and fifty. I get a hundred. With a hotel, I get six hundred. You get ten fifty. Yeah, bitch. You get that way is more a money. Good deal. So I will give you this monopoly for this monopoly, and just give me five hundred bucks. No, I'm not giving you any money. Okay, I'll give you two properties for one. Brianna, the Triforce is with you. No, no, the deal's shut down. Hey, I'll give you. Two blue no. and two hundred. This is no. already a dead Listen conversation. This is gonna be one. Margarita is thirty three, seconds. Four. Okay. There's eight properties on the board. I just don't want to give you. A they go up as you go around the board. This is part of the t the top four properties. I'm in the t low four okay, properties. It doesn't matter. It's thirty cents. A, it's thirty seconds of barter, and if no deal, give me the freaking die. She just made that rule. Okay. I sat in the tattoo chair for four hours today, and although doing it on the arm right here wasn't the most like painful spot, after enduring it for four hours, I was so just physically ex hey. physically uh -huh. exhausted and mentally exhausted and I came home and fell asleep and then we started playing Monopoly with Sabrina's family which I knew was gonna get out of hand which is why I filmed them everyone just screaming at each other <laughs> but I realized I never showed you guys what we got I'm gonna show you it now I can go in a mirror here but what I've done is is not complete I still have to go back probably probably trying to go back like next week but the first thing that we got was I'm really obsessed with like outer space and astronauts and like going to Mars and the moon so I've always wanted to have a spaceman and because I like skulls and all that type of stuff I wanted to have like a skull inside the face mask as if it was either like a dead spaceman that was like a tie to the International Space Station there's a famous International Space Station photo that literally looks exactly like this let me see if I can get it on on camera. Answer it. Super clean. So that was the first one we did that took quite a while. It was a lot of shading, but it's a lot of detail work, so I really like it. And then secondly, because I've always had an obsession with clouds in the sky, and I always had like this soft spot for like really cool clouds. So we started this one right here, which is kind of like a super thin light cloud. We thought about adding like thunderbolts, so we like improv. So there's in pen, there's like thunderbolts, but that's not actually there. That's just underneath like the little wrap. So that's not there, but I might add that in eventually. I don't know, but I really like that one. Then the last one that we started but we didn't finish all the way was a skeleton hand holding the world. And to me like each tattoo has like a certain like meaning behind it. This one to me signifies like the world is in your hands, you just have to capitalize on it. So we added it's upside down. How do I sh how do I Oh man, this is can't can't really see it, but I'm gonna flip it upside down so you guys can see it. So it's like a skeleton hand holding the world, and when my arm's done this way, everything is more so like, you can see everything. But those are the three tattoos that we got done today. Probably go back next week. We're gonna start filling out the top portion of my arm. So when you're looking, when you're looking at me straight on, you don't see anything. Um, and we're gonna bridge the connection from the skull holding the world to the astronaut. And then I'm gonna start kind of filling out the front of the arm, which I've been so scared to do. We were gonna start it today with the astronaut. We were gonna put it more like central on the arm, but I was too scared I couldn't do it. To me, it's like with starting with the back of my arm because I started with the rose and I added everything else. To me, it was like, oh, I'm adding tattoos, but you look at me straight on, you can never see it. And it's like, it's not really there until you look at me from behind. 
and I was just too nervous to have a tattoo that's just like boom you can never not see it so I'm slowly creeping my way around the front of my arm and Sabrina said she doesn't like them so no I didn't I love them she they said she said it jokingly but we all know jokes stem from something deep below oh but I'm really hyped a lot of people do like sleeves where everything like connects in between and for me I've always liked I think some people call it like sticker tattoos where it's just little images around that you just kind of put everywhere and it's unfinished now but soon it will be all finished and it will all flow together I can't remember the last time I ended a video in bed Sabrina's like already asleep so I gotta be quiet watching Space Force but if you haven't heard Space Force yet, it's the Crow's new show on Netflix. So I gotta be quiet. Literally proceeds to talk at the exact same voice volume that he always does. If you made it this far in the video, let me know down below because if I don't hear you, that means you didn't make it. And if you made it this far and you don't comment, oh dude, it doesn't focus when we're in dark. I'm so sorry. Comment down below if you made it this far. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Racing Sim incoming. Ordered. Uh, Racing sim and coming. Gonna take months to get here. Eight wait, months. A couple months. Costed twelve grand, and we have to still have to wait three months. But it's gonna be worth it. I hate that. Don't forget to head over to amaze.com forward slash TJ Hunt to enter your chance to win the 2020 Z51 Corvette as well as twenty thousand dollars cash by clicking the links down below.